Hey everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Today, I will be reviewing Rainbow High Lila Yamamoto. This is her box. Her box is the same as any other Rainbow High doll boxes. It has her name and the series she is a part of on top. And at the bottom of the front, it shows the other characters from this series. Here's the other outfit she comes with. On the side you see their focus, hers is visual art. At the back of the box, you see all the other characters from this series. So let's get her out of this box. Here she is. She was quite easy to unbox, same as the others. She comes with this bag with her smaller pieces like her stand. In the bag, there is an instruction booklet in many different languages. It shows how the second pair of legs can be used and removed again. And of course here is her stand. It's translucent with glitter, like all the other Series 4 dolls. And here is her second pair of legs, with flat feet for her other shoes. Let's get her stand put together. Her eyes are quite gorgeous, and very different from most dolls. The hair is in plated buns, which are also cute. Her outfit looks simple yet stylish. Her second outfit still needs to be unboxed. I will be putting the shoes on the legs so it will be easier to redress. Her black gloves aren't great, as the strap does not want to stay in place. Just look at this gorgeous details on her face. Her earrings are quite beautiful. I have heard her hair is thinly rooted and almost bold, so it is difficult to restyle. Let's see if that's true, or if we can still wash and style the hair like we want it. I have loosened the hair now. It is quite thin, as you can see at her scalp. It isn't as bad as I thought it will be, so I will wash and restyle it and see how it goes. I have washed and styled her hair now. It was quite easy to work with. The bangs are cute, and when glue is washed out, it does not lose the shape. I did the same style that the hair was in, but just smaller buns, so it looks like she has loose hair as well. Just need to knead it up a bit. I deboxed the second outfit and put the shoes on the second pair of legs. Let's just look at the gorgeous color of the hair. Isn't it just gorgeous? Let's get her into her second outfit. So while I undressed her I found out the top actually had underwear sewn on, so it stays in place. This piece I thought was part of the top, but it is actually a separate piece almost like a belt. Her outfit is gorgeous. The shoes, however, was quite difficult to put on as you have to loosen up the strap and redo it. The outfit was also not the easiest to put on, as the shirt is quite tight. Let's get into the pros and cons of this doll.